We have been lied to. Science fiction promised us that space travel would be an adventure. It told us we would be captains, explorers, and heroes. But it forgot to mention the price tag. The most terrifying thing about the universe isn't the black holes, the radiation, or the vacuum. It is the math. Because the laws of physics are not designed for human relationships. They are designed to keep us trapped in our local bubble. To leave that bubble is to commit a slow, agonizing suicide of everything you have ever loved. Welcome to the time dilation trap. To understand the trap, you have to understand the budget. Einstein proved that we all move through the universe at a fixed speed, the speed of light. But that speed is shared between space and time. Imagine a coin spinning on a table. One side is space, the other is time. If you sit still in a chair, 100% of your speed is dedicated to moving through time. You age at the normal rate. But if you get in a ship and move through space, you have to steal speed from time. The faster you move across the map, the slower you move through the calendar. If you hit 99% light speed, time for you almost stops. You are frozen. But the universe outside, it fast forwards. This creates the first wall of the trap, the windshield. When you look forward into the destination, you are traveling into the future. Let's say you leave for a five-year mission to a nearby star. For you, it feels like five years. You eat five years of meals. You sleep five years of nights. But because you stole your speed from time, Earth kept aging without you. When you return, 50, 100, or 1,000 years might have passed. This is the twin paradox. But it's not a riddle. It's a tragedy. It means you can never go home. You can return to the place called Earth, but you can never return to the time called home. Your spouse is dust. Your children are history. You're a biological anachronism. So you might think, I'll just look back. I'll watch them from the ship. That's the second wall of the trap, the rear view mirror. In space, now does not exist. Light takes time to travel. The sun you see is eight minutes old. The stars are thousands of years old. If you travel far enough away and point a telescope at Earth, you won't see your family waving goodbye. You will see light that left Earth millions of years ago. You might see dinosaurs. You might see the Ice Age. You are trapped. If you go forward, you kill the future. If you look back, you only see ghosts. You are isolated in a bubble of subjective now that no one else can ever enter. This is the ultimate cost of touching the stars. To explore the universe, you must agree to become a fossil. You must agree to outlive everyone you love, not by living longer, but by skipping their existence. Space travel is a one-way ticket, not to a planet, but to a timeline. So the question isn't, can we build the engine? The question is, are you strong enough to be the only ghost in the universe? Now that you understand the trap of time, you are ready to face the trap of silence. Why, in all this vastness, have we found no one? The answer is darker than you think. Click this video right here. It exposes the paradoxes that keep humanity alone in the dark. I'll see you there.